Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's look was inspired by O'Flora. She did a butterfly look and I just had to do a butterfly look too. I begin by drawing my butterflies in my chest, sketching out their design in a lip liner. They're pretty basic looking just now and I wanted to overlap them slightly. For paints, I use Mayron Paradise paints. If you're curious about the palette, I actually depotted my large Mayron palette into these tiny view set palettes and they are perfect handheld paint companions. <laughs> the first butterfly is red, so I fill the base layer of red and start lining the butterfly wing framework in dark brown. I want to focus the darker shades of red towards the inner wing and the outer edge is more orange. I also line every little wing fragment with a little yellow to make them pop. The next butterfly is blue. I follow the same process as before but with different colours. All butterflies are slightly different so don't feel the need to be perfect. Just take your time and paint them how you like. The most fun part about the butterfly wings are the tiny little white dots that litter the edges of their wings. I add those with a fine detail brush. Create your next butterfly. I chose green for this one. Follow the same process. I do give each butterfly a very slight change in wing shape for some variety. After I finish the green butterfly, I decide to add some drop shadow to the butterflies using a light brown paint to cast onto the skin. Following that, we create our final body butterfly in yellow. At this point, you should be an expert. This next part was pretty impromptu. I had an idea in my head to create some edgy artistic style that would bleed out and over the design. I wasn't quite sure what I was doing, but the end look is interesting, I guess. The design got quite emo and dark after I added this veil of black. To keep it in theme with butterflies, I added the white dots around the edges. Those added similarity to the butterfly wings. Onwards to the face, I prime my skin and add Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation and blend it out with a Bobbi Brown brush. A Bobbi Brown brush, that sounds pretty fun. <laughs> I use the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer, I buff it into the skin and set with a powder. Granted, it wasn't the best colour match. Contour around the nose, cheekbones, under the lips and add a bright blush. I blend all the powders in with a Fairless Cosmetics powder brush. Using my trusty lip liners, I draw out my butterfly on my face. Starting with its brown body, I draw down the nose and then spread into the large wings across the face. This butterfly begins with red and then pink. I'm using my new Mayron AQ brushes to layer the paints. To help blend, I also use a mix of eyeshadows on top of that to give the paint a seamless blend. The next step is the black outline of the wing. I paint it directly on with Paradise Paint. I also decide that similar to the black shoulder design, this wing would also drip black paint. Draw out the wing framework and then detail in white and pale salmon colors. Don't forget the little antennas. I line my lips in a dark gray liner by NYX and then paint with the Kat Von D studded lipstick in Slayer. I add a MAC coral lipstick to the center to ombre the lips slightly. For the eyes, I use the NYX black eyeshadow base, Natasha Denona Black is Black, and then Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild highlighter palette as a topper. And don't forget to add mascara. Using a toothbrush, I flick black paint across the face for added drama. For more shadow under the face butterfly, I also add a neutral lip liner to help blend it into the skin. After using the ABH highlighter on the eyes, I wanted to add it all over the shoulder paint. I loved the shimmer look that it created. Finally, add any final touches with shimmery eyeshadows. And there you have it, the completed dark butterfly look. I hope that you enjoyed this spontaneous butterfly look. I kind of made it up as I went along. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment, share and all that good stuff. I know that everybody says that at the end of their videos, but my YouTube channels don't do very well. And I just want to share the work that took a lot of time and effort to create with the world. Okay, I'll stop now. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>